Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today, we compare between hook worm and the fish tape worm. Look at this hook. So when someone says to you, you are off the hook, that's what they're talking about. Hook worm and fish tape worm both can lead to anemia, but different types of anemia. The hook worm will lead to microcytic anemia with decreased MCV, but the fish tape worm will lead to macrocytic anemia with increased MCV. The hook worm has two types. If you are talking about the old world, it's the Ancelostoma duodenale. If you're talking about the new world, it's the Nicator americans. Who named these things? The fish tape worm is the Diphilobothrium latum. Diphilobothrium literally means it's a worm with two mouths or two openings. The fish tape worm, you can contract it by eating raw or undercooked fish. That's why when you go to a sushi restaurant in the United States and they give you the menu, at the bottom of the menu in a very fine print, they will say, Eating raw or undercooked fish can increase your risk of foodborne illnesses. That's what they're talking about, the fish worm. It's not the only thing that can happen when you eat raw fish, but it's one of the things that can happen. I'm not here to tell you what you should or you should not eat. I'm a big believer in freedom. I believe that you should be able to do whatever the flip you want to do. I'm here to tell you the risk. And because I'm an open-minded guy, I'm not a person with an agenda, I'm very aware that eating sushi once a year is less risky than driving a car on a highway every single stinking day. And shamefully, I've tried sushi before, but I'm not gonna lie, there is some risk. Hookworm versus fish tapeworm. Hookworm, Ancelostoma duodenale or Nicator americans. Fish tapeworm is the Diphilobothrium latum. Shape, this is round worm. And this is a flat worm. A round worm has a fancy scientific name called the nematode, which means round worm. The flat worm is called the cystode. Doctors are not Marxist. They do not divide people by class, but they do divide worms <laughs> by class and every other organism. Cause of anemia. Loss of blood. That's why you will get iron deficiency anemia. What's the cause of anemia with the fish tape worm? The fish tape worm is going to stay in your gut and consume your vitamin B12. This will lead to vitamin B12 deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia is microcytic, but vitamin B12 deficiency anemia is macrocytic. How about the hemoglobin and hematocrit in both of them? Since both are anemias, low hemoglobin and low hematocrit, low hemoglobin and low hematocrit. MCV, if it's microcytic, low MCV. If it's macrocytic, high MCV. Now pay attention because iron deficiency anemia can start as normocytic and then progress into microcytic. So you can see normal MCV at the beginning of the course of the disease, but later you'll see decreased MCV. Hypersegmented neutrophils, absent but present because of vitamin B12 deficiency anemia or a folate deficiency anemia, both can have hypersegmented neutrophils. That's why we call them a megaloblastic anemia. Next, what's the treatment? The hookworm is treated by albendazole or mebendazole. The fish tapeworm is treated by praziquantel, which is the same medication that treats schistosomiasis, which were very common in Egypt. And praziquantel also treats schistosomiasis, also known as bilharziasis. By the way, on your test, when they say a patient came from Egypt, most of the time they're talking about schistosomiasis. You don't have to read the entire question. Of course you have to read, I'm kidding, but it's gonna be schistosomiasis. I'm proud to be an Egyptian because at least we are number one in something in schistosomiasis. If you love medical mnemonics, please check my website, medicosisperfectionalis.com slash mnemonics. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notifications because sometimes I release free stuff. You can follow me on all of these platforms and you can go to my website, medicosisperfectionalis.com. Thank you so much for watching. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.